Happy Monday, YouTube. What's happening? It's your boy Geeky Guy Comics back once again with another, yes, it's another weekly top comic releases video to help you fantastic people with your pickups for week number three, new comic book day for January. Now, it's another exciting jam-packed week with everything of the likes of Aftershock, Marvel, IDW, Boom Studios, and many, many more. So if you want to find out what we have coming out on January 20th, stay tuned. Welcome back guys, now let's not waste any more time, let's just jump straight into it shall we and take a look at the top comic releases we've got coming out for week number 3 which is January 20th. Up first from DC Comics we have Batman Catwoman number 2. We've got Batman Catwoman number 2 with the Travis Cheris variant cover. We've got Liam Williams on the variant of this one. Deceased Dead Planet number seven. We've got Deceased Dead Planet number seven with a fantastic Francesco Mattina Mr. Miracle variant. And we've got a Ben Oliver movie homage variant, which is the Harley Quinn Birds of Prey cover of the week for me. Future State Catwoman number one. We've got Future State Catwoman number one with a fantastic Art Germ variant. Immortal Wonder Woman makes her future state first appearance. We've got Fantastic Puppeteer Lee variant A. And you know the coup by now guys, it is always followed up by a Puppeteer Lee variant B. The artwork's pretty decent on this. Peach Momoko gives us a fantastic Wonder Woman cover for this one. Future State Nightwing number one who finally makes his appearance. I will say though, on this second variant cover by Nicholas Scott, it does look like he's got some dodgy, goatee, beard strap thing going on. Future State, Shazam number one. And we've got a Gerard Parel variant for this. Future State, Superman, Worlds of War number one. We've got a Puppeteer Lear variant A. And who would have believed it? There's a variant B as well. Ricardo Federici with a variant as well. Future State, the next Batman, num Batman number two. Cover B by the one and only Matina with this variant. Tim Fox making his first appearance on the cover as Batman in a Doug Braithwaite variant. And we've got a second printing of this, guys. There's second printings of quite a few of them, so beware and be on the lookout for them. Up next is Joker Harley, Criminal Sanity number seven. We've got Miko Cyan on the variant of this one. Legion of Superheroes 12 finally hits the shelves this week. And we've got the Taylor variant for this as well. It's been uh, this has been delayed by about three weeks, and it's finally out. So good news. Looney Tunes 258 makes his appearance online and in stores this week. Rorschach delayed from last week. Number four is out this week, and it also tops it off with a variant cover by Cherest. Over to IDW now. We have Marvel Action Origins number one. Star Trek Voyager, Seven's Reckoning number three. And we've got Seven's Reckoning number three with a photo variant for this. And we've also got a pretty decent stylized looking one in 10 incentive variant. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now with number 113. We've got Cover B by the one and only Brian Eastman. We've got a 1 in 10 incentive variant, I quite like this one, it's pretty decent. And then we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Jenica number 2, issue 3. The Transformers number 27. Transformers number 27 with cover B by Red Pal, no namesake of mine unfortunately. And we have a pretty fiery, decent looking 1 in 10 incentive variant. 
And to finish it off, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the best of Leonardo number one. Over to the best publisher of 2020 and 2021, it's Boom Studios with Abbott 1973 number one. And we have Abbott 1973 number one cover B by Alan. We also have a fantastic 1 in 25 Jenny Frischen incentive cover. Over to Once and Future now of number 15. And up next we have a pretty decent Once in Future number 15 with a Dan Mora black and white variant. Power Rangers number 3. This series has been absolutely killing it. Ryan Parrott has been sensational. We've got cover B by Dan Di Nucleolo. And we've got 1 in 25, the fantastic Peach Momoko on the stylized cover for this one. And we also have a 1 in 50 Peach Momoko LCSD foil variant as well. The Expanse, number 2. The Expanse, number 2, with a pretty decent looking cover by B by Walker. We've got a 1 in 10 Shaft cover. And we have a 1 in 25 black and white Forks cover as well. We only find them when they're dead, number 5. This has been another sensational read, guys. It's really, really great, so try and get on this. And we've got cover B by the one and only Infante. And to finish it off, we have a fantastic 1 in 10 Felici incentive cover. Over to Dark Horse now, we have Barbalian Red Planet number 3. Red Planet number three with cover B by Koch. Crimson Flower number one, there's been some pretty decent hype around this, looking interesting. Crimson Flower number one, cover B. You Only, You Look Like Death, Tales from the Umbrella Academy number five. Tales from the Umbrella Academy number five, cover B by Colbard. And cover C by Alvi Tiri. Over to Marvel now, it's the one and only Black Cat number two. Black Cat number two with a Peach Momoko Marvel vs. Alien variant. We've got Dayan on the variant for this one. And we've got a 1 in 25 Copel variant. 1 in 50 Hughes variant. Cable number 7, there's only one cover of this out this week guys. Iron Fist Heart of the Dragon number 1. Got Jacinto with a Marvel vs Alien variant for that. Delotto with a Virgin variant. We've got Delotto with the trade dress variant. Aja with a variant for that. This is a pretty decent looking one. We've got one in 25 Randolph variant. And we've got a one in 50 tan variant also. Moving over to the one of the only King in Black number three. This is going to be a hot comic this week, guys. If you've been reading it, you know what's about to come. We've got a U-Connecting variant. We've got Tyler Kirkham with a variant A. And you know the coup by now guys, variant A follows on with a 1 in 50 Shall We Dragon variant. There was meant to be a variant B but it got cancelled. Gian Giordano with a Marvel vs Alien variant. And we've got Ian Bedman with a fantastic tattoo variant as well. Maestro War on Packs number one. Maestro War on Packs number one with a Ryan Stegman variant. And we've got a McGuinness variant as well. But my favourite cover for Maestro has to be the Bennett variant. Look at the colours on this. Maestro looking all kinds of badass. Star Wars Dr. Afra number seven. The Avengers, number 41. The Avengers, number 41, with the U Marvel versus Alien variant. 
and we've got a Weaver connecting variant as well. X-Force number 16 finally hits the shelves this week for all you X-Men lovers out there. And we have a La Rocca Marvel vs Alien variant as well. Moving over to Image now, we have Ascender number 15. Philadelphia number 12, this has been a wicked comic from start to finish. Philadelphia number 12 with cover B by the one and only Todd McFarlane. And cover C by Sen Kiewicz. Rain Like Hammers number 1. Seven to Eternity number 16. And we've got cover B by Arujo and Hollingsworth. The Scumbag number four. This has been such a great, funny, intricate read. It's so hilarious. And we've got a pretty decent looking pants down, one in 10 incentive cover. Over to Scout Comics now, we have Soulstream number one. This was delayed from last week and it's finally out this week. Sweet Downfall number one. Yasmin number six. Now from Aftershock we have I Breathe the Body number one. I Breathe the Body number one with a one in 15 incentive variant. Miskatonic number three. We Live number four. We live number four with a mutant beaver exclusive to 250 pieces. Over to Dynamite now we have a Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings number 10. Clash of Kings number 10, cover B by Ruby. And then we also have a fantastic 1 in 20 Ruby black and white incentive variant. Red Sonja, the price of blood number two. There's always some decent covers out for Red Sonja. This week is no different. We've got cover B by Golden. Cover C by Lindsner. Cover D by Giovanni. And then to finish it off, they always have a 1 in 20 cosplay virgin cover. Over to Titan Comics now, we have Cutting Edge, The Devil's Mirror number one. Cutting Edge, The Devil's Mirror number one, cover B by Alberti. Life is Strange, Partners in Time number four. Life is Strange, Partners in Time number four, with cover B by Grayley. And then we have cover C, black and white, looking great by T-shirt. Xenoscope up now with Bell Dead of Winter, number one. Bell Dead of Winter, number one, cover B by White. Cover C by Chrome. Courier Liberty and Death, number one. And a pretty decent cover finishes off Xenoscope this week with cover B by Kamunaki. Pretty decent, colours on this are sensational. AWA Upshot now with American Ronin number four. Ablaze is up now with Gung Ho Sexy Beast number one. And to finish off another decent week of comics, we have Skybound with Sky uh, Stillwater number five. The Walking Dead Deluxe number seven. And then we have The Walking Dead Deluxe number seven, cover B by Moore and McCake. So there we have it guys, I hope you all saw something that, I like, that you liked. There is around about 100 or 70 or so, 180 comic books out this week, so there's a serious amount of stuff to get into. There's not as many as there was in the previous weeks, but it is lockdown and there's still a load of content coming out, so why not start reading? Now as always, all the comics featured in this video are listed below, so please feel free to take a closer look. And if you haven't done so already, why not comment in the section below and let me know what you will be picking up. And if you have any questions about the releases that are coming out, I will do my best to try and answer it for you. Now don't forget to follow me over on Instagram or Twitter for more 
more geeky news, giveaways, reviews, comic updates, and there's so, so much more. So if you do want to hit me up over there, I will do my best to get back to you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and hit the notification bell, because if you don't know by now, I really, really do enjoy doing this content for you, and I hope it gives you the knowledge and the updates of the comments coming out so you can add them to your pull list and you never miss the comment that you want. One more thing guys, I do do a, a, a live the Killer Comics show every Thursday over on my YouTube channel, so make sure you do check that out if you're a new viewer looking at this. There's no time like the present. Jump on it today. It's the Killer Comics show, episode three this week, coming out with special guest Andy from Perpetual Comics. We will be discussing King in Black number three, so make sure you jump over there and check it out. It's always a pleasure, guys, and as you know by now, if I don't see you for a week, I'll see you through the Geeky Guy window.